Now, where is Lady Rarity? <gasps> Spike! I knew you would save me! Nothing could stop me, my lady. Oh, Spike, you are my hero. Oh, there, lover boy. Whoa! 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 whoa. I got a bite! I got a bite! Hold on there, little fella. Yeah. Applejack! Twilight! Oh, my goodness! Oh, my goodness! Wait for me! We're just gonna have to start going down them one by one. That could take forever. There's gotta be a way to narrow it down. I know. I bet they've taken Rarity down the tunnel with the most gems. But Spike, Rarity's the only one who knows how to find gems. No, Twilight, you can. You can copy Rarity's gem finding spell. Oh my gosh, you're right. Rarity showed me how she did it a while back. If I can just remember. Yeah. You did it, Twilight! Come on! We're coming, Rarity! We'll save you! Just hold on! Oh, please, Diamond Dogs! Please let me go! No! You're our precious little pony! Forever! <laughs> but whatever do you want from me? Gems! Yes, the gems! The jewels! Find them! Find them all! Oh, is that all? There, a lovely pocket of jewels are right there. Now, if you'd be so kind as to show me the exit. Good. <laughs> now, dig them up, pony. What? But you said you wanted me to find the gems. Yes, find and then dig. Dig? Yes, dig. What are you doing? We said dig! Forgive me, but prior to you so rudely dragging me into a dirt pit, I had a pony pedi, and I am not about to chip a hoof because you dislike my style of digging. Oh, for goodness! Fine! Just stop! Stop! Dig, dogs! Dig! And fast! <laughs> she won't dig, she pulls! I beg your pardon, but what, pray tell, are you doing? Others will dig. You will haul the wagon. Precious Pony Paddy will be preserved. Well, somebody certainly needs proper nail care. When was the last time you two had a manicure? You're scratching up my coat with those jagged things. Please be quiet! <laughs> well, <laughs> what do you think? Am I the toast of the trench or what? <laughs> You'll be toast, all right, when the dragons see you parading around in that get-up. You look very nice, Rarity, but could you maybe look nice down here in the trench with us? Nice is an understatement. I look fabulous. Who says camouflage has to be drab? Ahoy, ladies! Dragons move! Oh. Think of that move, Rainbow Dash. Still think they're lame? Uh, not so much. The word fierce comes to mind. And formidable. And super duper scary. Yeah, us dragons are definitely a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> yeah, right, Spike. That's why.
one of the scariest aprons I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with wearing an apron? You won't be laughing when you spill blueberries all over your scales. Feathers. That's one tough stain. One tough stain against one lame dragon. <laughs> you leave him alone, Rainbow Dash. Spike's style is unique. He doesn't have to look like other dragons. Or act like them. My little Spikey Wikey is perfect the way he is. I don't act like other dragons? Oh, not even close. But why would you want to, Spike? Yes, you've got something those dreadfully fierce dragons can only dream of. What's that? Your cutest little chubby cheeks. <laughs> cute! Dragons aren't supposed to be cute, right? Oh, sweetie, you are turning the most delightful shade of red. It is most becoming. Oh, isn't he adorable when he waddles off in anger? Waddle? Ah! What am I? Where am I from? Who am I supposed to be? Ugh, I don't know. For the last time, Spike, you were given to me as an egg. I don't know who found you or where they found you. Seriously? That's all you know? I'm sorry, Spike. That doesn't tell me anything about who I am. I need answers. I feel like I'm... I'm looking at a complete stranger. Aww. Oh, Spike. Why don't we do some late-night research? See what we can find out. Really? You do that? Of course. I'm sure we can find something. Nothing. Nothing in this one either. Nothing at all about dragons? This is getting ridiculous! I know. It's hard to believe, but ponies know next to nothing about dragons. Apparently, they're too rare and too scary to try to talk to or study. I wonder if dragons cry. Oh, Spike. It's okay, Twilight. I'm gonna discover who I am if it's the last thing I do. You guys! <laughs> Good morning! You wanna join us for breakfast? That sounds great. I'm famished. Count me out. I've got to get an early start. An early start? Yes. I'm going on a quest of self-discovery. I need to learn what it means to be a dragon. And the only way I'm going to do that is to join the dragon migration. What? Spike, that's nonsense talk. I know that you're a dragon, but those dragons mean business. They're big and tough and scary. And I'm small and meek and I like to wear aprons. See, this is exactly why I need to spend time with them. All I'm saying is that you could get hurt. Darling, this time I really do have to agree with Rainbow Dash. I don't want those big, ugly, nasty dragons to hurt one little scale on your cutie woolsey head. I'm sorry, but I made up my mind. Oh, quick, do something! Stop him before it's too late! And that is why I simply cannot bear the thought of having hurt you. And even though I don't know what it is that I did, I want you to know that it doesn't matter. Because I am prepared to do anything to make it right. And see. Oh, sorry, dear. I said that sure sounds genuine. Well, of course it sounds genuine. It is genuine. Rarity? What are you doing? Obviously, I'm working on my apology to you, Spike. I don't know how I could be more genuine. I mean... <gasps> Spike! Oh, Spike! I am so sorry. Please, forgive me! You have to forgive me! I don't know what I did or why you are mad at me! Just please, say you forgive me! Please! <laughs> Of course I forgive you, but, uh, what are you apologizing for? Why does every pony keep hopping on that? Wait, don't you know? No, I'm not mad at you about anything. But, 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 I don't understand. If you're not upset with me, why in Equestria would you refuse to go to the gem cave? Uh, because I had other plans? With me! Understand. You two know each other? Gabby and I are sort of pen pals. Yeah! 
There was this whole thing where I pretended to get a cutie mark because griffins don't get cutie marks, so Princess Twilight had spikes and a bunch of letters off to Griffinstone about the first griffin ever to get a cutie mark, which I really didn't have. Gabby wrote back explaining things, and after that, we just started writing back and forth. Turns out we have a lot in common. We both come from cultures that don't have the friendliest of reputations. And we're both in the message sending business. Uh-huh. Mm. I sure wish I could send scrolls with my breath. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. yes. Now I understand why you didn't come to the gem cave. Having a friend in town is a rare treat. Look, since you're busy today, maybe we can do something tomorrow. Fabric shopping? I know how you love to pick out the colors. Uh, actually, now that there's a griffin at Twilight School, Gabby's here all the time. Grandpa Grub asks for a lot of updates about how Gallus is doing. <sighs> Speaking of which, I better get going. And I'll fly with you. Well, all right, you two fly along. I'm sure Spike and I can do something some other... Decide which shade of purple is the most royal. And there's the pink! How will I ever choose? G too bad Spike's not here. I bet he could help you narrow it down. Uh. He is a good sounding board, isn't he? get to Fluttershy's tea party. <laughs> so lifelike. And when Twilight discovers it shredded up on her floor, she'll think mouse-eating Aloysius is to blame. And I'll be number one again. <laughs> torn to pieces. It must have been Aloysius. You know, since owls eat, you know, mice. What a terrible, terrible bird. He must be punished. Right? Spike, I don't know what upsets me more. That you deliberately tried to set up Aloysius or that you actually thought this pathetic attempt would work. You've let your jealousy get the best of you, Spike. I am truly disappointed. This is not the Spike I know and love. She... she doesn't love me anymore. Twilight hates me. I'm cold, hungry, tired, lonely. Could it get any worse? I guess that's a yes.
Hello? Hello? What is that? Oh, if this is what running away is all about, I never want to go home. If my tummy's full, the rest of me is still empty. I miss Twilight and the Pony Gang, but she doesn't love me anymore. So I'm better off here, all by myself. Wow, seems to be getting warmer. The steam is great for my complexion, but it's sure getting hot in here. What are you doing in my cave? And why are you eating my jams? Uh, hey, bro. I didn't know this was your cave. And I didn't know these were your gems, but we're cool, right? Well, whoa. Hey, uh, we're like brothers, you know? I mean, you're a dragon, I'm a dragon. It's us against the world, right? Uh, you don't scare me. So you're big. Really big. understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... This is a crime against fashion! Oh no, you are not getting this gemstone! This was given to me by my dear friend Spiky Wikey, the kindest, sweetest, most generous dragon ever. And it is too precious to me to give to a greedy old beast like you! Here, Rarity. You take it. It would mean even more to see you happy than to eat it myself. I... I don't know what to say. This is just so generous. Oh, what now? I suppose you'll be eating me or something. Spike? You're the rampaging dragon? <laughs> Somebody do something! On it! Rarity, I need to tell you something, just in case we don't make it. I've always sort of had a crush. 
Destroying Ponyville. You are my hero, Spikey Wikey. Dear Princess Celestia, today I learned a great lesson about friendship. Well, you might think that it would feel good to get lots and lots of stuff, but it doesn't feel nearly as good as giving something special to some pony you really care about. Are these what I think they are? Uh... Yes, yes, yes! Twilight's taking me to the Grand Galloping Gala and Canterlot! The gala? I design ensembles for the gala every year, but I've never had the opportunity to attend. Oh, the society, the culture, the glamour. It's where I truly belong, <laughs> and where I'm destined to meet him! Him! Who? Him. I would stroll through the gala, and everyone would wonder, who is that mysterious mayor? They would never guess that I was just a simple pony from little old Ponyville. Why, I would cause such a sensation that I would be invited for an audience with Princess Celestia herself. And the princess would be so taken with the style and elegance that she would introduce me to him, her nephew, the most handsome, eligible unicorn stallion in Canterlot. Our eyes would meet, our hearts would melt, our courtship would be magnificent. He would ask for my hope in marriage, and of course I would say, yes! We would have a royal wedding befitting a princess, which is <laughs> what I would become upon marrying him, the stallion of my dreams. Twilight! I simply cannot believe you would invite Pinkie Pie so she can party and prevent me from meeting my true love. How could you? Hm. Hey! <gasps> Angel, these are perfect. Uh, listen, guys. I haven't decided who to give the extra ticket to. You haven't? Um, excuse me, Twilight. I would just like to ask, I mean, if it would be all right, if you haven't given it to someone else. You? You want to go to the gala? Oh, no. I mean, yes, or actually, kind of. You see, it's not so much the Grand Galloping Gala as it is the wondrous private gated garden that surrounds the dance. The flowers are said to be the most beautiful and fragrant in all of Equestria for the night of the gala, and that night alone will they all be in bloom. And that's just the flora. Don't get me started on the fauna. There's loons and toucans and bitterns, oh my! Hummingbirds that can really hum, and buzzards that can really buzz. When blue jays and red jays and green jays, pink jays and pink flamingos. Gee, Fluttershy, it sounds beautiful. Wait just a minute. Rainbow Dash, were you following me? No, I mean, yes, I mean, maybe. Look, it doesn't matter. I couldn't risk a goody four shoes like you giving that ticket away to just anybody. Wait just another minute. Applejack, were you following me too? No, I was following this one to make sure she didn't try any funny business. Still trying to take my ticket. Your ticket? But Twilight's taking me! Oh, oh, you oh, 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 and then I said, Oatmeal, are you crazy? Oh. Girls, there's no use in arguing. But Twilight. Uh, this is my decision, and I'm going to make it on my own. And I certainly can't think straight with all this noise. Not to mention hunger. Now go on, shoo. Uh, okay. And don't worry, I'll figure this out. Somehow. Whoa! You all look... Um... 
amazing! I can't believe we're finally here! With all that we've imagined, the reality of this night is sure to make this the best night ever! At the gala! At the gala! In the garden! I'm going to see them all! All the creatures! I'll befriend them at the gala! All the birdies! And the critters, they will love me big and small. We'll become good friends forever. Right here at the gala. All our dreams will come true. Right here at the gala. At the gala. At the gala I will sell them all my apple tastic treats. Hungry ponies, they will buy them. Caramel apples, apple sweets. And I'll earn a lot of money for the apple family. All our dreams and our hopes from now until here. Gala, all the royals, they will meet fair rarity. They will see I'm just as regal at the gala. At the gala. I will find him, my Prince Charming, and how gallant he will be. He will treat me like a lady tonight at the gala. This is what we waited for to have the best night ever. Each of us will live our dreams tonight at the gala. Ever. You know why? Because we're all going to spend time at the gala together. Or not. Princess Celestia! Twilight! It is so lovely to see my star student. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. We have so much to catch up on. Well... <laughs>